SpaceX wants to launch its mega rocket from Florida. That means shutting down Playa Linda Beach. You're listening to The Wrap from Central Florida Public Media. I'm Brendan Byrne. Starship, SpaceX's giant rocket, may be launching in Florida as early as next year from NASA's Kennedy Space Center. And with it comes a lot more launch activity along the Space Coast. For safety, the FAA would have to shut down one of Titusville's most historic beaches, Playa Linda, for up to 60 days a year. Experts like Florida Tech's Don Platt says it's a matter of public safety. Say an explosion happens either on the pad or soon after it lifts off from the launch pad. Uh, we want to make sure there's no one in harm's way or possibly could be in harm's way uh, for such a, uh, a powerful rocket that, and again, has so far never launched here from Florida. But some residents say closing the beach for almost two months a year is too steep of a price to pay. The fight over flight. That's ahead on The Wrap. Big stories this week from Central Florida Public Media. But first, these news headlines. A state appeals court has ruled a ban on people openly carrying firearms is unconstitutional. WUSF's Douglas Soul reports. Florida has long banned openly carrying guns in public, except for activities like hunting. But Florida's first district court of appeal ruled the restriction is not compatible with the Second Amendment. Luis Valdez, Florida State Director of Gun Owners of America, is rejoicing. A Republican supermajority legislature has failed to repeal this unconstitutional act for years now. The open carry ban has survived past legal challenges. Citing opposition from law enforcement, state lawmakers have refused to undo it, despite pressure from Governor Ron DeSantis. The ruling is not immediately final, but Florida's attorney general, who can request a rehearing, says he supports the court's decision. I'm Douglas Soule in Tallahassee. Hundreds of people gathered Thursday night in Lake County for a vigil for murdered conservative activist Charlie Kirk. Kirk was shot and killed while debating students at the Utah Valley University campus on Wednesday. The gatherers in Lake County Thursday prayed, listened to speakers, and sang Amazing Grace. Sitting in the front row was Susan Hooper, who was emotional talking about what Kirk had meant to her as a Christian. I just loved Charlie, and I watched him on TV all the time, and I'm just heartbroken. I really am. He was such a wonderful guy, kind guy. Oh, I'm so glad to see so many people here. That, yeah, that gives my heart a little lift, and it needed it. <laughs> In the wake of Kirk's murder, political leaders, including Governor Ron DeSantis, have called for unity and an end to political violence. A lottery system is set to open later this week, giving eligible participants the chance to obtain a permit for the state's first bear hunt in a decade. Central Florida Public Media's Ava Jessam has more. On Friday, applicants will have the chance to pay $5 for an entry into a lottery-style drawing for bear hunting permits. Applications will open Friday and run through September 22nd. The state will be giving out approximately 187 permits for the 2025 season, which spans from December 6th to December 28th. Applicants must be over the age of 18 and own a valid state hunting license in order to enter. The lottery is the first of its kind since 2015, when 304 bears were killed in the span of two days. For Central Florida Public Media, I'm Ava Jessam. These stories and more on our website. Visit cfpublic.org. The Wrap Inbox Edition is your Wednesday digest of what matters most in Central Florida. The weekly newsletter delivers the top headlines, original reporting, and a handy guide to Central Florida public media events, all presented in a format that's quick and easy to read. It's the perfect companion to this podcast, The Wrap. Sign up at cfpublic.org slash the wrap. Florida Space Coast could see a lot more launch activity if SpaceX has its way. The company wants to launch its new spacecraft Starship from the Kennedy Space Center. But as Central Florida Public Media's Marion Summerall reports, those additional launches would come at a cost that some residents say is too high the temporary closure of one of Titusville's most historic beaches. This is the sound from the first public meeting held last month by the Federal Aviation Administration. 
The meeting was supposed to give Floridians a chance to discuss the environmental impact of Starship launches. Starship is SpaceX's giant rocket and spacecraft that's supposed to take people to the moon and maybe even Mars someday. Dozens of people filed into the Kennedy Space Center visitor complex, many of them frustrated over the FAA potentially shutting down Playa Linda Beach for up to 60 days a year to accommodate the launches. Barbara Evans is a Titusville resident for over 60 years. She doesn't want to see the beach her and her family went to shut down for SpaceX, even if it is only partially closed. It's just heaven. It's just perfect. And it's been Titusville's historic beach forever. So I just don't think they should take it away. She's wearing a vintage T-shirt that says, I helped save Playa Linda Beach. It's a nod to the 1980s fight she and her late husband, Hank Evans, were a part of to keep Playa Linda Beach open during the space shuttle program. It took over a decade to find a solution, a new access road. And now, over 40 years later, Evans says she's ready to continue that fight. NASA agreed to build us a road. They set a precedent and they built us a road. It's only fair they do it again. The FAA is asking for public input as it drafts an environmental impact statement, which looks at what Starship launches could impact, things like land usage, noise, and air quality. The FAA will also issue proposed actions to mitigate those impacts. SpaceX currently launches from Boca Chica, Texas, but the Kennedy Space Center offers more variety in launch paths because it's closer to an ocean and safer since it's away from people. It has taken 10 test flights from Texas for SpaceX to succeed at launching Starship. Many of those launches ended with Starship exploding and debris raining down over the ocean. Florida Tech's Don Platt says as Starship comes to Florida, the beach closures are necessary. Starship is actually twice as powerful as the uh, space shuttle, uh, so it has a tremendous amount of energy when it uh, launches. SpaceX and the FAA did not respond to a request for comment on the draft impact statement. And aside from closing the beach, Platt explains that there are other public concerns, including noise and houses shaking. There is a definite possibility that uh, noise will be a huge factor, um, you know, even if it's a nuisance factor. Despite those possible problems, Platt says there's a silver lining. Launching Starship from Florida will increase SpaceX's presence in staffing and activity and could boost the area's economy. Overall, it, it, it's really a win for uh, people living here on the on the Space Coast one way or the other. And some residents do view it as a win, including Ross Foster, a Brevard County historian and president of the North Brevard Heritage Foundation, which is one of the consulting parties on the study. She's been monitoring some of the historic buildings in the area to make sure the vibrations or shaking from Starship's launches won't hurt the structures. And though she understands people's concerns, she hopes they can feel more at ease that uh, something is being done to to take a look at all of these variables. While it's almost certain the FAA will clear Starship for launch, people like Barbara Evans say they'll continue to fight for the beach. Marion Summerall, Central Florida Public Media. That's it for The Wrap this week. This podcast is produced by Central Florida Public Media with editorial assistance from News Director LaToya Dennis. I'm Brendan Byrne. This is The Wrap.